To install Active Directory Domain Services, we're going to click on Start, click on Server Manager, From the server manager, as you can see, we only have three uh, services at this point. We have the file and storage services, we have our local server, and we have the summary of all what's on our server. So to install uh, ADDS, which is Active Directory Domain Services, go ahead and click on add roles and features you can also go to tools which is on the top right corner okay and click on next and then on the select installation type you have to select role based or feature based installation so click on next and on the next page which is the select server roles page there are different features here in this pool. Uh, the one that we're looking for is the Active Directory Domain Services, this one. So check it. And once you click on check, it is a, it's a, there's a pop-up that's going to show up and say, adding features that are required for Active Directory Domain Services. So in other words, it's telling you that we're going to be installing all of these tools in order to add the Active Directory feature. So yeah, just go ahead and add the features. And then the next thing we're going to select in this pool is the DHCP server. We need our DHCP server, right? So it will at the DHCP server prompt. It also needs some tools as well. So you click on Add Features. All right. You scroll down a little bit more, all the way down. Okay. And the last one you need to select is the Windows Deployment Services. Okay, so check Windows Deployment Services, the WDS, and then click on Add Features. Once you have done that, uh, so we've selected Active Directory Domain Services. We selected to add our DHCP to hand out our IP addresses to our operating systems. And we also select Windows Deployment Services tool. We need this tool to, to hold all our boot um, images. So we'll click on Next. All right. We'll click on, this is the feature page. We'll click on, if you want to look into the features that are here, you can look. Uh, these are additional features that were added into our selection. So you click on Next again. And then Active Directory Domain Services. Feel free to read the message here if you want to. But I'll just go and click Next. And DXP Server is also telling us, it's actually telling us what is going to be the features that is going to be added on this server. So on the next, go to the WDS server, which is the Windows Deployment Services server. And then click Next. And the Windows Deployment Services have two roles in addition which is the development, deployment server and the transport server. So click on next. And then once you finish, basically it will, it will get to the summary page where you can select to restart the destination server automatically if required. So what that means is once this, once all this feature is installed, this uh, Windows server will restart itself automatically. I'll say yes to that. And then last just click on install now when the installation is in progress you can feel free to you know close this page and feel free to do anything else you want to do on your server as you can see installation of all the features is now succeeded on our server okay active directory domain services has been added successfully DHCP server has also been added successfully and last but not least uh, it added a few other additional uh, features group policy management was added remote server admin tools all of the tools have been added and DHCP server, DHCP server tools also was added 
uh, including the Windows Equipment Services tool. Once that is done, go ahead and just click on close, right? And now, if you look at the, the server dashboard, you will see that we have Active Directory Domain Services feature. We have the DHCP feature. Uh, before we had the file and storage, and now we also have WDS, which is Windows Deployment Services feature. The next step is to configure our Active uh, Directory to promote it to a domain, a full-fledged domain controller. You have so many ways to do it. You can use the tools, or you can just go into the uh, this yellow information tab and click on Promote this server to a domain controller. In in the previous edition of Windows Server, we can use a command known as a DC promo .exe, but basically you cannot use that anymore. That command is now deprecated in Windows Server 2019. So click on promote this server to a domain controller. Once you click on that, you will see the deployment configuration wizard is now started. And what we want to do is to, we, there are three options here. Uh, there's option to add a domain controller to an existing domain. But because we don't have a domain already on this server, we're not going to choose that. There's also add a new domain to an existing forest. We also don't have a forest. So basically we cannot choose that option. The last option is the one we're going to go and add a new forest, all right? And we have to specify the domain information for this operation. The root domain name is going to be whatever you want to call your domain controller name. It will be different for you, but in our case, it's going to be just type tech .com. Right now, you go ahead and, and and you go ahead and click next. Once you've clicked next, the domain controller option we uh, you will see the, you have to select functional level of the new root domain system. So if you remember, we've talked about domain functional level before. Now the best or the appropriate functional level for this Windows Server 2019 will be the last version, which is Windows Server 2016. I mean, you can try to use other functional level, but as we are on the Windows Server 2019, I, I don't think you can go past 2008. You won't be able to come back to Windows Server 2019 functional level. So I suggest just leave this as a, you know, by default. And it's a specified domain controller capability. Just leave this by default and then go and provide a password, your admin password. So provide a very secure password and then click next. So the DNS option, the next page, a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created because the authority. So the DNS option is just telling us there's a delegation and then we'll go ahead and click next. Once you click on next, uh, additional options for this domain service is going to show up. And then you'll see in the NetBIOS name, you can choose to accept it or type in something else. But I will just leave it by default and I will click on next. And now we have all our volume uh, information. So it specified the location of the Active Directory database, the log file, and the system volume. So accept the default or choose, you know, make adjustment as much as you want and click on next. And you have to review, finally, you have to review the option that you have. And if everything is fine, if you agree with all the information, your DNS, your GCP, your system volumes information, go ahead and click on next. And you can add about that previous step, you can also save the script if you want. So now 
uh, it's now verifying the prerequisite for domain controller. Now all prerequisite checks have been passed successfully and we now click install to begin to promote our Active Directory. Um, we now begin installation to promote our Active Directory, uh, directory to a full-fledged domain controller. So click on install. So the installation is now starting to install a full domain controller. So once the configuration is finalized, the window will give you uh, a notice that you need to be signed out because you have to reboot. And now the system is now restarting shutting down and stopping all the services and rebooting the um, system in entirety to configure all of the options that we've added into the server. But our domain is now rebooting. It's applying new computer settings and placing all of the files, uh, necessary files into the our domain controller database. So once the domain controller is rebooted, after you after the all the features has been added and has been configured and installed, you will receive this uh, type of login screen, which indicates that you have now promoted this Windows Server 2019 to be a full domain controller. Go ahead and just log in. with your password. In a real um, world enterprise environment, you can install DXCP, DNS, Windows Deployment Services, and Active Directory on a different Windows 2019 server. So you don't really have to install them in one single uh, Windows 2019 server. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this series. In our next lesson, we're going to be looking at how to configure Windows Deployment Services with uh, DHCP. All right, see you next time.